Miroye Jovanovic, you are the attorney representing the uh, Metropolitan of the uh, Orthodox Church uh, in Montenegro. Uh, you, we heard that um, there are strong, important difficulties and troubles currently uh, in Montenegro um, because of a law that was recently uh, adopted. You came to Strasbourg to uh, ask for the support of the European Center for Law and Justice. And I would like to use the occasion of your presence here to uh, explain uh, in a few words what is the current situation uh, of the church uh, in Montenegro, what are the difficulties and the challenges. Right now, there is a, in Montenegro a governmental attacks on the Orthodox Church. On 27th of December, Parliament adopted uh, the law on religious freedoms and the status of the religious communities. But the basically, to be honest, it's the law on nationalization of the church and the church's property. It prohibits, for example, uh, foundation of schools, especially elementary schools. Uh, it also uh, making the nationalization of almost all churches' property. It uh, requires that the church must be registered again, although the Serbian Orthodox Church, uh, uh, through its diocese, has already uh, legal personality in that state. Today, almost all Orthodox Christians in Montenegro practice their faith within the Serbian Orthodox Church and its metropolitan and three dioceses of Montenegro that are the only canonically recognized as the Orthodox. The regime tried to create its own state-controlled church, church using a former priest who was excommunicated uh, from the Orthodox Church by decree of the Ecumenical Holy, Holy Synod back in 1997. This law provokes strong popular opposition and it was passed with brutal force after 17 opposition members of parliament were arrested and taken to police custody. One of the MPs that was arrested that night is the member of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe and he has been deprived of his passport. Since its adoption, massive and peaceful protests are taking place every week Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew, the Patriarch and the Synod of the Ru Russian Orthodox Church, the Metropolitan Tikhon, Primate of the Orthodox Church in America, the Metropolitan Onufri of Kiev, they all denounced this attack on the Orthodoxy and expressed their support for the Patriarch of Serbia. Pope Francis, before adopting the law, and both the European institutions and the Venice Commissions give advice to have inclusive and active dialogue because of there's, there was no dialogue before adoption of this law. Right now, we have a protest. This is the European Court of Human Rights. And if we fail to breach the law, that is basically the law on nationalization of church in Montenegro, Orthodox Church in Montenegro, then we will file complaint to this court and we know we will win because the justice and the European uh, Convention of Human Rights are on our side.